Good morning guys and thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of my wardrobe organization as well as sort of a closet tour, a dresser tour, and sort of a little bit of a bedroom tour as well because the bedroom organization and decor sort of intermingles a little bit with how I have my handbags organized and the rest of my wardrobe in general. So I don't know about you guys but I love seeing people's rooms and closets and all of the stuff that they have and their preferred brands of shoes and handbags and things like that. So that is kind of what today's video is going to be about just essentially my entire wardrobe in a nutshell and how I keep everything organized. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for stopping by on this channel. We do talk a lot about fashion and organization. If that's something that you enjoy, I would love if you would consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and leave me a comment down below. It really does help my channel out. And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's wardrobe slash closet slash bedroom tour. So first, I suppose I'll start out with my shelf because I do like to keep some fashion items on the shelf as well. Um, I just think it looks really pretty when you have handbags displayed especially some of your more beautiful handbags um, as opposed to being tucked away in a closet or in their dust bags I know that the best place for them is to be kept in dust bags but I think that they look so beautiful that if I I'm not using them. I like them to be sort of out on display. So first of all, on the bottom part of the shelf, I do have a Chloe um, bag. This was a bag that a pair of sandals came in that I bought last time I was on vacation. And I just thought it was so pretty that I wanted to leave it out on display. In here, I do have some perfumes that are backup perfumes of some of my favorites, like Mont Guerlain. I have an old Miss Dior. I have Armani, a couple of Armani perfumes. Um, but I just thought that that was so pretty that I like to leave it out on display. On the shelf above that, I have a few kind of wallets and clutches. So this is like a nice little clutch that I actually got from Lulu's. It was very inexpensive. Um, let's see if I can show you that. It has like scalloped details, scalloped edges, and like some beading detail, which is really nice. On top of that, I have a clutch from Tory Burch which is one of the, actually I think this was the very first designer item that I ever purchased and it was quite expensive for me at the time and I really loved it and I've gotten a lot of use out of this out of this clutch but I will do a handbag video another day and then on top of that I just have a little Louis Vuitton wallet that actually I have not used this since I purchased it. I think I'm too scared to mess it up because it's so beautiful and I'm not super gentle with my wallets. I'm kind of always throwing things in and out of my bag. So I'm a little bit nervous to actually put that into use just because I think that the Louis Vuitton print is just so beautiful. Kind of like to leave it on display. And then I do have a YSL wallet on top of it, um, which I also don't use very much, but I think that these bags are just beautiful to have, or I guess SLGs are beautiful to have on display. On the shelf above that, I have a couple of more decorative items. So I do have this really nice little bubble candle, which I got from Amazon for a steal of a deal. Very pretty. I have this little gold geometric shape decor thing here that I think is really nice as well. Then I also have a KKW perfume in the back. Not a huge fan of the Kardashians if we're going to get personal, but I do really like this shape of this bottle. I think that it's very pretty and makes for really nice decor. I don't actually wear the perfume that's in there. I find it to be a little bit too coconutty for me, but it is a really nice bottle to have on display. To the left of that, I do have a little container, a little crystal container, and it does hold a few little knickknacks. So I do have a couple of bookmarks for when I read books. These are just like little magnetic bookmarks. I've got a few of them in there. They're very pretty. I also have a couple of travel spray perfumes. This is Replica Coffee Break, which I really like. I especially like that one for the winter. We have this sample of Fun Fair Evening from Replica, which is really nice. It's a discontinued scent that a friend sent me to try out. We also have Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. This is a rollerball. And we also have a travel size perfume of the Sol de Janeiro Shiro Size 62, which is really nice. And also this wee little Tiffany um, rose gold perfume sample that came with a perfume that I recently purchased. I think that is so cute and this is a really beautiful perfume that I do want to try wearing. I think that's all I have in there. And then beside that, I do have just a few kind of coffee table books. 
So we have a Dior book, a Vogue on Coco Chanel book, and just a Paris book that is actually just a plain book with plain pages. There's nothing written on the inside. It just looks really beautiful displayed as decor. On the next shelf, I just have a plain mirrored gold tray that I got from Amazon. This is a tray that I like to use for perfumes, although I haven't had perfumes on it for a really long time just because I don't like the way things look when they're very cluttered and I have a lot of perfumes and if I was to put all my perfumes on the tray it would look very very cluttered sitting there on the shelf and on the shelf above that I just have a handbag this is my Chanel classic flap in the beige color with the gold hardware and this is actually one of my most used bags I actually have a little bit of wear already on the metal um, one of my most used bags love it to bits haven't been wearing it as much lately so I do have it just sitting here on display and then I also have some flowers here in a vase which I did get from home sense so that is it for any sort of fashion organization that i do have on that shelf and yeah sometimes i'll switch out the handbag and sometimes i'll switch things around but this is about how i've had this shelf organized for months and months on end and i just really love it i'm not somebody who likes to have a whole bunch of clutter and I don't like things that are distracting visually. So everything has to be sort of the same, like color palette and tone. I like things to be all within the sort of neutral color palette. And I do think that it looks really, really nice, especially against everything else in my bedroom, which is white and gray. I will just give you a quick look at the bed and the night table. I won't go into too much detail, but just so that you can kind of see how this is. Um, the bed is all, again, the same color palette. Sometimes I do have a throw pillow in the center of the bed, but I took that off because I do think it looks a little bit cleaner and more minimal without the extra pillow. I have a couple of Euro pillows that I don't actually sleep on or anything. They are here solely for looks and just to add a little bit of texture to the bed. And I've got my uh, regular shams and then I do sleep on silk pillowcases, which I love. I would never go back to not having silk pillowcases. And then I have this beautiful tufted headboard, which is not new either. I've had it forever and everything on my bed is the same color palette. I actually have a gray fitted sheet and then everything else is white or cream and I think that that combination is really beautiful and it kind of fits my aesthetic really well. Coming over to my nightstand, again very simple, very minimal, very plain. I do have a little photo album on the bottom. The inside is pretty clean and organized. I have my LED face mask in here which I try to use almost every single day. It's a really good like anti-aging face mask. And then on the right side, I have just some stuff for work, my name tag, my watch, some pens and medical scissors and stuff like that. On top of my nightstand, I have a few items. So I do have a salt lamp. Um, which is really beautiful. It's very calming. I like to have it on during the day when I'm at home and I also like to have it on at night right before I fall asleep. However, it does not provide enough light for reading. So I also have just a regular lamp. So this is the lamp that I do like to use for when I'm reading in bed at night. And this was just a very affordable lamp from Walmart. I still have the plastic on the uh, lampshade. And then I also have a little vase of flowers. These are from HomeSense. They're just beautiful little peonies. They're so pretty. They just add a little bit of a pink feminine flair to the bedroom. Um, otherwise, this would be a fairly plain corner. And I always keep a little glass on my nightstand for water because I do tend to get very thirsty at night when I'm lying in bed. Usually wake up at some point and use the washroom and have a glass of water. So that is one habit that I've gotten into is always having a glass of water at the bedside. That is about it for my nightstand. So next we have my dresser and I will kind of go through a little bit and show you a little bit of what is in the dresser. And I am gonna be doing a organization video of the top two drawers because they do need a little bit of organization and the one on the right could probably use a little bit of decluttering. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty much clean, organized and decluttered. I did recently go through and do that. So I thought I would share that with you guys. I was going to film the entire process of my decluttering that I did the other day and putting everything in the dresser. But honestly, I was just in one of those modes where I just needed to get it done. I didn't want to be stopping and moving the camera. I just really needed to get the cleaning done and I didn't want to have to follow my around the room with a camera all day so I just really quickly did it yesterday but I will take you through and show you what I did and I will do an organization video for the top two drawers so this dresser is really beautiful I got it from Amazon there are a few little kitty scratches I don't know if you can see my cat has decided that she really likes to use this as a scratching post um, I did get her a better scratching post downstairs that she loves so thankfully she hasn't been doing that as much but I do have to take some white paint and just go over and fix that um, but otherwise it's in perfect condition I've had this dresser for almost two years and I really like that it is a mix of like contemporary and modern but also looks a little bit 
sort of traditional, which is very much in line with my aesthetic that I have in my home. So it's very beautiful, it's very big, very heavy, very good quality, and unfortunately just has to have a little bit of a touch up because of my cat. <laughs> On the top of the dresser, I keep it very, very plain and very minimal. Not too much going on. I don't like to have a whole lot of clutter. Currently, I have my phone sitting here, but normally this isn't here either. And normally, I don't have a cup of coffee on the dresser either, unless I'm doing something like this. Um, but yeah, just currently drinking a cup of coffee. And I have these beautiful flowers as well, which are from HomeSense. So these are just like some beautiful roses that I really like. A couple of pictures just hanging up on the wall on top of the dresser. We have one that says, have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. Um, one of those like self-help slash wellness quotes. <laughs> and then to the right of that, we have just a really pretty canvas that I got from Amazon, I believe. And it has a few coffee table books and a diptyque candle that is holding some brushes, a lipstick, and a Chanel number no. five. Oh, Premiere, the new one. Didn't even notice that till now, actually. But yeah, I've actually had that perfume. It's really nice. But that's on top of the dresser. And then to the right, we have my jewelry organizer. I don't have a whole lot of jewelry. I'm not going to go into too much detail of what I have here, but just a few like gold plated pieces, a couple of pieces from Tiffany's um, that were gifts from my boyfriend, a few watches. This one I need to get sized. It's from Rosefield. It's really beautiful, but it is a little too big and I do have to get that sized. Then I have a few kind of stacking rings, two pairs of earrings three rings that are sort of heirlooms in my family. One of them was my grandmother's, two of them are my mother's. And then I have my grandmother on my dad's side, old Timex watch, which is really stunning and very much an antique. And I don't wear it, but I just keep it out to appreciate it. So yeah, that's what we have there on my jewelry. That is all the jewelry I have in the world. I have no other jewelry boxes or any jewelry hidden away anywhere. So what you see in my bedroom is very much what you get. I don't have anything away in storage. The only exception to that is I do have some activewear away in storage just because I use activewear to make videos and it's nice to have leggings and stuff to refer back to. But other than that, I don't keep anything additional stored away. My principle is if it's not being used, there's a reason it's not being used and can you either let it go? Is it something you're gonna wear or is it something that you need to donate? Or whatever I do not like having stuff away in storage so that's another little tip for keeping things minimal is don't store stuff away so this is my closet I'm gonna save the closet for last because I feel like that is the prettiest most exciting part of the bedroom probably next to my bookshelf um, so I will save that for last and we'll go through the dresser first so in this top drawer is my underwear my sports bras and my socks I'm not gonna go through that drawer right now because I am gonna do a video organizing this drawer and showing you how I like to organize my socks and everything. It really does need an overhaul. It's quite a mess. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that on camera later. In the drawer beside it is where I keep like my fancier underwear and my bras. So this is where I have like, like underwire bras and I have a ton of them. You guys, I have so many bras. I really need to declutter a couple of them or find a better storage solution. I also keep like nipple covers and things like that in here as well. And I also keep my lingerie. So this is a very, very busy drawer. Lots going on. It really does need to be organized and probably I could do a little bit of a declutter as well. This drawer here is my pajama slash loungewear drawer. And it's not organized like super, super pretty. It's not organized by color or anything like that. It's just everything is folded and sort of put away. So I do have like some shorts and some sweatpants and just like lounge pants here. I have a little sleep top, a little chemise. I have another little white top that I like to sleep in. I have pajama pants. And then down here, I've got some more shirts. This is just an old hoodie that I've had forever. It's so comfortable, or sorry, not a hoodie. This is a sweater. I've had it forever. It is so comfortable. I got it from HomeSense. And then down here, I have just a pair of pajamas from Levion Rose. And then here I have a sort of like a wool slash cashmere type sweater that is really comfortable and I like to wear it around the house. And I have two pairs of Lululemon yoga pants because when I am kind of lounging around or I have to run out really quickly and just like go through the drive through or quickly go out for a jug of milk or something like that, I don't like to get all dressed up. So I pretty much just throw on a pair of leggings and my winter coat and a pair of sneakers and I just head out the door. So, so technically I do count my Lululemons as like loungewear slash 
streetwear if I have to just quickly head out the door just because they are so easy and so comfortable and I don't know they're just like that go-to pair of pants I get so much use out of my black Lululemon Aligns. It is insane, actually. And when I'm at home, I pretty much just live in loungewear. So having loungewear is really important to me. And as you guys can see, I pretty much have a theme. Everything is gray, cream, white, and sometimes pink. <laughs> and that is that drawer. So this is all I have for loungewear slash pajamas. I don't have any other drawers anywhere with loungewear or pajamas. Um, just what I'm wearing, <laughs> which is also gray. So I kind of know what colors work best for me and that makes it a lot easier as well when I'm decluttering or when I'm shopping or when I'm going out looking for new clothing. When you kind of know like what your color palette is, it stops you from potentially buying or trying new things that are going to look ridiculous on you or you're just never going to wear. They might look really nice, but you just never reach for them and you're not really sure why. Could be because it's not part of the color palette that suits you. So I certainly do know for me what colors suit me. So yeah, like I said, this isn't folded the nicest, you guys. It's kind of like, doesn't look the best, um, but it is organized and everything in there is clean. So <laughs> I feel like I can give myself at least an E for effort with that drawer. The drawer underneath that one is dedicated to my work clothing. And again, this is not folded the greatest because this cardigan is a little bit bulky, um, but this is the cardigan that I wear to work all the time. It is as old as can be it's got a lot of pilling but it's a very comfortable cardigan that to this day i actually still get compliments on it's just very cozy it's again fits with my aesthetic it's comfortable keeps me warm when i'm at work i always get cold especially on night shifts so i have to have a cardigan and then i basically just have my scrub tops and my scrub pants and again i didn't do like the best job of folding these you guys i just did laundry the other day and kind of haphazardly threw them in there i probably should actually fold these a little bit better but i do have scrub pants scrub tops and long sleeve white t-shirts a couple of them are in the wash and again when it comes to work i like to have a uniform so that i don't have to think too hard about what i'm going to put on when i go to work so i have white tops white pants white undershirts gray cardigan everything goes together and i don't have to ever think too hard before i go to work in the morning now coming over to the right side of the dresser this is probably my busiest drawer in my entire dresser it's also the heaviest i would like to go through and do a little bit more of a declutter with that but i recently went through and already decluttered a bunch of stuff that was in my closet so this is kind of like what's left over of my activewear and in my opinion it is still too much it's still too full and it's still too heavy so this is all of my active wear and I did try to organize everything by color family but it turns out that um, I just have so much that it was hard to keep it all like properly organized based on colors so I'm just going to kind of give you like a quick overview of what I have so and again I do have some in here that I feel like I could probably declutter and get rid of so where do i begin so on the left side here i do have all of my red garments and actually that entire pile going down right to the bottom there is all red i've got bow and tee alphalete women's best i have victoria's secret i have some more alphalete um really nice like teal pair orange yellow um in that pile i have gymshark here and then i have um some aritzia tna down there and then I've got some more bow and tee and Tala, I believe is Tala there. No, sorry, that's more Aritzia. And yeah, Tala is in the very bottom. And then I've got more bow and tee here and like more neutral colors. Um, and then here I have kind of a mishmash of Alphalete, kind of like no name, TNA Aritzia, Aloe Yoga, and more Aloe Yoga all the way down to the bottom. So I have kind of like a very broad variety of activewear. These are the ones I've decided that are my favorite out of everything I've had, but I do have kind of a crazy mishmash of items here. And there's a lot that like, although I like them, I could probably get rid of them. Like the Victoria's Secret one, I do really like it, but because it's leopard print, it's kind of very out there and like in your face and I don't get a lot of use out of it. This Gymshark one isn't my absolute favorite in terms of the style of the bra but it's overall such a good basic utilitarian outfit um and then i do have a pair of alphalete leggings in here that don't have a matching bra so like there's just a few things like that that kind of annoy me and i probably will do another overhaul and decide 
what I truly need to keep in the store and what I don't need to keep. By the way, you guys, I'm like stopping in between recording to cough and have a drink of coffee. So if you hear cracks in my voice, I have a really bad cold right now. And <laughs> so I'm trying not to cough while I'm filming and I have a night shift tonight. So this is going to be a really awful night shift. I'm going to be so sick by the morning, but anyway, we're going to power through. <laughs> Thank God I have my uniforms, right? That'll be one less dresser. <laughs> so in this drawer on the bottom right of the dresser, this is my swimwear drawer, which is my most minimal drawer that I have. I recently went through and did a little bit of a swimsuit declutter. I got rid of two sets of bathing suits, actually three sets of bathing suits, and I just kept my absolute favorite. So on the left, I have a couple of white Victoria's Secret bathing suits. I have this really beautiful blue one that's one of my favorites. I have this pink one that's also one of my favorites. All of my swimwear is currently from Victoria's Secret. And then on the right side there, I do have a couple of cover-ups. So this one here is from Beach Bunny and I actually have not worn it since I got it. It's a beautiful like mesh um, long sleeve dress actually, but it's completely see-through and it's absolutely beautiful. It's got all of these little, I'll zoom in so you can see, it has all of these little embellishments and like beads. And uh, the only thing is they like to fall off. <laughs> these beads are not, this thing was expensive you guys. And look at that, like the beads just wanna fall off. I would not repurchase this. Maybe I'll do a video one day talking about it, but it's very pretty, but I would not repurchase it because for the amount of money that I paid for it, it's falling apart <laughs> pretty badly. Every time I open this drawer, there's more like little beads laying in the drawer and I haven't even put it on. Like I've, I've tried it on once, I haven't even worn it and it's like falling apart. So yeah, it was like $200 <laughs> for that swimwear cover up. Gorgeous, I do need to wear it before it's no longer wearable. And then I have a couple of other swimsuit cover-ups here. Um, so this one is actually one I got in Mexico years ago, um, and I really like it. And then this one here is from Amazon. It's just a sarong-like skirt tie-up cover-up that looks great with every single bikini. And that is my bathing suit drawer. So really the only two drawers that I haven't given you a tour of is the underwear drawer and the bra drawer. Like I said, I am going to do those on camera though. I am going to organize them. So that will be a video for another day. Now coming over to my closet, I'm really lucky to have a large spacious closet with French doors. It is so nice. I've always wanted a closet with French doors. And although this place is not huge or particularly fancy, it does have a really nice large closet. So this is kind of a floor to ceiling view, quick overview of what my closet looks like. Now, a few years ago, you guys, I had a much more minimal handbag and shoe wardrobe and also perfume wardrobe. My love of designer shoes and handbags has sort of exploded since 2019 i would say i think it was like 2015 was when i got my first ever like designer handbag and it was that tory birch clutch that i showed you so it wasn't that expensive it was like my first taste of like a little bit higher end luxury and that wasn't even super super high end and since then i have just really developed a huge love of shoes i don't have a ton of like super expensive shoes but i do have a lot of more high end handbags and that is kind of my vice that is kind of like something i absolutely love in addition to activewear perfume it's probably handbags <laughs> and shoes so i guess let's start out with the shoes so on the door i do have a shoe organizer and i need the shoe organizer because otherwise i would not have any place to put my shoes where i can see them again i'm the type of person who feels that if you have shoes away in storage you probably don't need them. Um, so I do frequently go through and decide, are there any shoes I don't need? Are there any shoes I can part ways with that I haven't been wearing that I'm probably not gonna reach for? But at the same time, I like to have variety as well. So I don't wanna get rid of a pair of shoes that is a very specific pair that I will eventually need again, even if I've only worn it once in the last five years. For example, to a funeral or to a wedding, if it is something I'm going to need, I will keep it. Um, so something else that you'll notice about my shoes is that they all fit into the same color palette. My shoes are all 
neutral in color. When it comes to my wardrobe, I do have the odd pop of color. When it comes to handbags and dresses and stuff, I will have the odd pop of color, but not very much. Um, I try to keep everything in the same color palette and very neutral because that way when I'm putting together outfits, I never have to struggle finding something that's going to fit. I know that I'm going to find a pair of shoes or a shirt that's going to go with my outfit and I don't have to worry about it too much. So this over the door shoe organizer, I think I got from Amazon. And what I really like about it is that the back is white, so it blends in with the door. And I also like that the little um, containers are plastic and see-through. So you can see the shoe. I have had other shoe organizers that I did not like because they covered up the shoe so you couldn't see what the shoe actually looked like and also it just looked really big and bulky against the door. So I do appreciate that this is a monochromatic look and that I can look at a glance and see all of the shoes that I do have. So this was fantastic. I think it was like $15 and I highly, highly recommend it. And the best part is when I close my door, I don't see them. <laughs> so they kind of are hidden away, but also at the same time, I have a quick glance at all of my shoes when I'm trying to put together an outfit. And believe it or not, you guys, I have worn slash do wear all of these shoes. So I'll just give you a quick tour of the shoes, I guess. So on the bottom, I have a pair of Keds. These are actually fairly new. Um, up until this year, I was not a sneaker girl. I did not wear a lot of sneakers. Um, but I started to get into them because I think that they are such a wardrobe staple and they look so cute even with like a skirt. You can really make an outfit look very casual just by throwing on a pair of sneakers. They're so comfortable. They're great for travel. I probably don't need to tell you guys why sneakers are amazing, but <laughs> believe it or not, up until this year, I did not do sneakers. I was high heels or flats or sandals. That was all I ever wore. And to be fair, that is more my aesthetic. Um, but I have been getting more into sneakers, so I'm really excited about that. And as you can see, I have worn these Keds. They're a little bit dirty. They actually need to be cleaned a little bit, but these I have worn quite a bit, and I really like them. These are the, um, the women's Ace sneaker, just the plain leather Ace. I really, really like them. They're also super affordable, and they're just like a great casual shoe. I also have these Lacoste sneakers. I'm not sure what the name of these are. These ones are actually brand new. I haven't had a chance to wear them, but in my opinion, these ones look a little bit more dressy than the Keds Ace. So these ones I think I'm going to save for when I want to have like a dressier sneaker with an outfit. The Keds are definitely my most like casual one. I also have this pair of Keds here. These ones are a new acquisition. I tried them on at a DSW not long ago, and these are the triple platform um, canvas ones, just with like the blue Keds, Keds logo, which I kind of didn't know if I liked the blue Keds logo. I thought it was a little bit tacky, but you know, I think it's kind of cute. And I love Keds, you guys. I just think that they're such a great brand. They're so affordable. You don't need to spend six or $700 on a pair of sneakers to have a great pair of sneakers. And these are so cute, styled with like a pleated skirt or a dress. I also like that because they have the platformed sole, they add a little bit of height. And at the same time, they're a very minimal looking shoe. So I just think that they are so cute and I absolutely love those. And um, I can try linking these down below for you guys as well if you're interested. So those are the only pairs of sneakers that I do have. I do also have a pair of um, Skechers, but they're downstairs and those are my work shoe. And I also have a pair of gym shoes and they're a pair of Nikes. And I don't keep those up here because I use them all the time. My gym shoes I use almost every day. My work shoes I use pretty frequently. So those are downstairs. These are just more like other outfit kind of shoes. So beside that, we have a pair of Chloe um, sandals. And I don't know the name of these, you guys. But these ones I purchased... These ones I purchased the last time I was on vacation. I don't know the name of this shoe. Um, but anyway, you can see that I have worn them quite a bit. I actually wore them on my vacation. And I will tell you, these are, although these are adorable, they are almost a little bit of a regret for me because they're not very comfortable at all. The sole of the, of the sandal does not bend very much. And I find that this canvas material is a little bit uncomfortable on the toes. So although I think that they're super cute, they are not super comfortable and they did make my feet pretty red after I was walking around in them for a while. So these are the kind of sandal that I would say are good for like, if I just have to quickly go out and run errands like in town or if I'm going out for coffee or something and I just want like a super casual sandal, they're adorable and I love the huge like Chloe logo. I just, I've always really loved that 
that sandal, that look. I think they're really cute. They were only like $400. They were a little bit more affordable than some other designer shoes. But yeah, just not like super comfortable. Not something I would recommend wearing on like a day-to-day -day basis. Above that, we have just a basic pair of black three-inch high heels. These are from Call It Spring. They were not expensive. These are a wardrobe staple. I think everybody needs a three-inch black pointy toe shoe. These come in handy for things like funerals and job interviews. I know that sounds morbid, but that is exactly where I have worn these shoes. I have worn them for a job interview and I have worn them for a funeral. And if I ever need a basic black pointy toe shoe, I have them. So they don't get worn a lot, but this is an example of one of those things that, no, I haven't worn it for like two years, but I will. Like if I ever need a basic black shoe, I have a basic black shoe. So they're kind of that thing that doesn't get used, but has to be kept <laughs> because they are an essential. They're also not high enough heeled for nighttime. I don't think they're like um, a nighttime shoe. So I do have a black high heel nighttime shoe that I'll show you over there after. These are my Dune slingbacks. These are kind of like a dupe for the Chanel slingback and I really love them. They're very comfortable and they're very classy and I love me a good cap toe shoe. So those ones I really like. Again, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get the look. You can often get the look for less. These were from the Hudson's Bay and they were $150. And real leather, really good quality. I really like those. Above that, we have another basic pair of shoes and sort of like an easy grab and go nighttime pair. So this is just a basic nude, again, three inch pointy toe pump. And I think that these are an essential for just like everyday day to day running errands going out shopping. They're just like a basic everyday heel that I think everybody needs. Again, these would be good for a job interview. These would be good for the office. They're not too high. They're just that like perfect perfect nude pointy toe heel. And then I have these ones. These are a clear, um, a clear kind of a plastic high heel from Chinese Laundry. I found them at DSW. These I have actually worn a lot. These are such an easy grab and go, like going out shoe for the evening. If I want something that's not too high heeled and that is comfortable. So these are actually a lot more comfortable than they look, even though they're plasticky. I love that you can see your toes through them. They're very sexy. You have a little bit of toe cleavage going on. The heel is quite thick and it's not too high so they're actually very very comfortable and I get a lot of use out of those shoes. Above that we have a few strappy pairs of sandals. I'm going to try going through this a little bit faster because I have a lot of shoes and I don't want to talk about them forever but at the same time I love shoes and I could talk about them forever so I have a few pairs from Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman is my favorite place to get that sort of Stuart Weitzman look for less. So for example I have these black strappy sandals. I have worn these as well, not as often, but I think that there is always an occasion when you need a black strappy sandal. And so I do keep them. Um, so these are only a three inch. They're very nice. You could wear them for daytime. You could wear them for evening. They're very versatile. This is probably my most worn ever pair of high heel sandal. They are exactly the same as the black one, except they're in a beige color. I even have the little um, sole protectors in there or sole cushions. And these ones I have worn so much. This is like my go-to um, daytime high heel sandal. If I want that minimalist nude high heel sandal look, very comfortable. They're just such an essential for me and I love them. And then up top, I do have another pair. So this is the same pair, except this is a higher heel. These ones are a four inch heel. Um, um, and these ones definitely do give you that sort of Stuart Weitzman high heel look, except these ones are only $150. These are a great nighttime sandal. Subtle, subtle platform, not too much going on there. Very sexy, very comfortable. And as you can see, I have worn these a lot. These have seen the pavement of Los Angeles and Las Vegas many, 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 many times. <laughs> They're just like such an easy go-to high heel sandal. They're also very classy. You cannot go wrong. I absolutely 100% recommend these sandals. And then beside that, I have a pair of Steve Madden high heel um, rock stud. So again, it's kind of like that Valentino rock stud look for a little bit less. These are a four and a half inch heel. They are surprisingly quite comfortable. I wouldn't want to walk around in them for too long, but I do really like the look. And again, they're nude. So everything here, as you can see, I can pretty much put on any outfit in my wardrobe and grab any pair of these shoes and it will 
almost 100% go together, which is why I love having a neutral shoe collection. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go through the rest of my shoes as quick as I can because again, I'm taking a very long time talking. So to the left, I have these. This is actually my newest pair of high heels in my wardrobe. They're beautiful, they're from Steve Madden. They have this like little bow on the front and they are a patent white heel and they are just absolutely beautiful. Almost a little bit bridal, but also just very like occasion. Um, I don't have any other pointy toe white high heel shoes, so I really wanted a pair of white pointy toe high heels, and I just love the look of these, so I had to get them. They were a little bit pricey. I hope that I put them to good use, and <laughs> they're brand new, so they're not really the type of shoe I would grab for very often because they are quite different, um, and they're not like super neutral. So yeah, but I think that they are absolutely stunning, and I cannot wait to wear them. So that's those ones, and I think those are brand new at Steve Madden too. They literally just shipped. I had them pre-ordered, and they just shipped. To the right, I have some boots for winter, some booties. So I have two pairs of sock boots. Um, this pair is from Aldo. This pair is from Call It Spring, I think. So I have one pair in um, beige, one pair in black, and they both have a little bit of a chunkier heel on the back. Um, that's kind of like my preferred type of winter boot. Then I do have a little pair of little black booties. These are just a suede boot that I got from Winners. Actually, these are pretty new as well. Um, so when it comes to like winter boots, I do live in Canada, we do get snow and we do get like minus 30 degree weather. So I'm not a huge like winter fashion person because I hate walking through snow and trying to look cute when it's snowing and it's minus 30, it's very difficult to do. You pretty much just wanna be warm and get from point A to point B, but I also do like to try to put my best foot forward. So I do try to have cute boot selections available as well. On the very bottom, I have three pairs of sandals and these are flat sandals. The ones on the left are sort of like an Hermes inspired um, dupe. They're from Chinese Laundry. They were so inexpensive. They were like $40 each on sale. And I have worn these so much, you guys. As you can see, they have had so much wear. So I have a pair in white and I have a pair in tan. And between those two sandals, honestly, I almost don't even need any other flat sandals. Um, they go with every single outfit. They're fantastic. Brought them with me on vacation. Wear them all the time in the summer for like going out to get groceries, running errands. They're just like the perfect sandal. To the right of that, I have a very similar kind of style. These ones are from Sam Edelman and these were actually, up until I got those two pairs, these were actually my most worn flat sandal. And I love these and I 100% recommend them. I think that they come out with these every single year. Um, these are so comfortable and they're so cute. I love the style. They're like a patent leather. They do have the little Sam Edelman emblem there. You can see that I've worn them a ton. They're just a really great, a really great flat sandal. However, if you do a ton of walking, you will still get blisters. And the reason I mention that is because I often wear my shoes, like my dressier shoes when I go on vacation and we tend to do a lot of walking on vacation. So in terms of walking, these ones are definitely more comfortable than these ones, but these ones look a little bit fancier. Um, I would definitely, definitely repurchase these and I would actually like another pair of them in another colorway because I just think that they're so nice. Then above that, I have another pair of sort of Chanel dupes. These are from Belle, Belle? I don't know. Um, I think I found these from just some online like random, I'm not even sure where I saw these. I think I saw them on Instagram and ordered them. Um, and I really, really love these. I'll try to find where I got them from and link them down below for you guys. They are amazing. They're so comfortable and they look just like the Chanel slingback cap toe heels. They were only a hundred, $150, I think they weren't too expensive. Then I have two pairs of the exact same braided sandal. These are from Dolce Vita. And this pair is a gold pair of braided, braided sandals. I actually wore these on vacation and really enjoyed them. They're very, very comfortable to wear and they also add a lot of height, but also they're still very comfortable. And yeah, you can wear them pretty much all day. You can go shopping in them. You can walk for a good distance in them without your feet getting sore. And I also have the exact same pair in this color, which is just like this really nice, like creamy nude color. Haven't worn these ones yet. And I was trying to decide, do I really need both? Like, is it essential that I have the cream ones and the gold ones? And I can't decide because I haven't worn the cream ones yet. And I don't know. So 
there's a good chance that at some point in the future, I will probably get rid of one of those because I feel like it might be overkill having two. Then we're getting into kind of my more fun high heels. So we have my only pair of high heeled white sandals. These are also from Steve Madden. I 10 out of 10 recommend you guys. These are actually so comfortable. They're very high, but they are so comfortable. I have worn these a ton. I've gone out for dinner, gone to the movies. Um, they are beautiful. They are just such a great staple. And I also love that they have the a squared off toe. I think that a square toe is super chic and I don't have very many square toes, just like a few. But yeah, these come in a ton of different colors and if you can get them, I would recommend them 100%. I love to wear these with my little white Jacquemus bag. They look so cute. Beside that, I have a pair of heels from Zara and these are a high heel, a little bit thicker of a heel on them. They have the little a peak on the front, sling back, super cute. Um, they're a little bit dressy, and like a little bit occasion, but also super neutral. So again, can go with pretty much anything. And then I have a pair of high heels that was recently sent to me from a company called ZZ Heels. Um, and this is my only pair of like black patent, sexy high heel for nighttime. This is my highest, highest heel in a black shoe that I have. And I think that everybody needs a sexy high heel black shoe. Up until this point, I didn't have one that looked quite like this. They're very like Louboutin kind of inspired and I really like them. So I'm happy to have those even though black is not a color that I go for often. When it comes to shoes, I do prefer neutrals, um, but I think that they're like an essential to have in your wardrobe. And then we have my three pairs of designer high heels that I love so much. They Each of them were a gift to me from my boyfriend, um, which is amazing. I am so grateful <laughs> that he likes to buy me these nice things because I just absolutely love them and yeah they're like my favorite things in the world um so first we have my Louboutins I can't remember the name of these they're not the so Kate they are well you guys might know if you if you know your Louboutins you might know but I have worn these a ton they are my favorite like my favorite like sexy shoe to wear for dates and stuff like that um and when we go out at night when we go on vacation um these are not comfortable. They are not comfortable. They're good for like, if you're going to be sitting the entire night, but if you're going to be getting up and walking around, your feet will be so, so sore, <laughs> but they are just so sexy. And I love them, love the red bottoms. And I do have a little protector there on the, on the bottom of the shoe just to protect the sole from the elements. But these have gotten so much use, you guys. Um, I can't even tell you how many times I've worn these shoes. I'm just they, they've proven to be staple in my wardrobe, which is awesome. And then beside that, we have the uh, Rockstead High Heels from Valentino in this beautiful, again, very neutral color, but a very different type of neutral color. These are actually quite comfortable compared to the um, Louboutins. I haven't had a chance to wear them yet, which is kind of sad. Um, they're beautiful. As you can see, they're a very different type of neutral tone, still a neutral type of skin tone, but a little bit more on the cool side. They don't go with as many of my handbags and stuff as a result, but they're stunning. I had wanted them forever. I think these were a birthday gift. And then these are my Dior slingbacks, which I covet and love so much. Haven't had a chance to wear these either. I did put a sole protector on the bottom of them as well for when I do wear them. They have the beautiful little bow there. They're just... They're so well made and they're so beautiful and they're a very like sexy shoe. I feel like a million bucks when I wear them. Haven't had a chance to wear these, but yeah, I definitely need to. So I, I need to wear both of those shoes. They are not doing any justice sitting here in my closet, not getting worn, but I absolutely love them. So those are my, like my three, my three pairs of designer high heels. Honestly, between those three, I don't know if I need any more. Those have been my three like most highly coveted pairs of high heels that I've wanted for so long. And then I also wanted a pair with like the little bow on the shoe. So I have those, I have these, I have black, neutral, white. I feel like I have everything I need here in terms of shoes. So <laughs> that took up like half of this video my shoe collection. I'm actually tired and like need a break just from talking about my shoes and I haven't even gotten into my handbags, but I'm not going to go into too much depth <laughs> with my handbags. I will do that in a separate video. Um, but I really, I really love talking about shoes. So yeah, that is my 
shoe collection. So in the closet, I also keep my laundry hamper and then I do have this white, or not white, I do have this glass stand which holds my perfumes, um, a few body sprays, and then just like a couple of extra shelves in case I need to store something there. Um, I did recently start getting into body sprays. So I have four body sprays right now in the back and then I have my perfumes on the top. So on the top of my closet on that shelf there is where I keep all of my handbags and I do not have any handbags away in storage. This is all that I currently have um, with the exception that in the Chanel tote in the back there, I do have a couple of bags in there just to hold it up and like keep it sitting upright, but I'm not going to go through all of my bags in today's video. I will do a video in the future about like my most used handbags, my favorite handbags. I do have one that is currently in use. It's downstairs. And then of course I have my Chanel flap there and those couple there on the shelf that I showed you and then all the other ones on the top. And I really don't want to have a huge handbag collection because I want to make sure that I'm wearing everything that I have. And if I have too many bags, they're not all going to get worn. However, I am proud to say that I have worn most of these bags quite a lot. There's a couple that have not been worn at all, either because the occasion hasn't come up or because they're quite new, but there's a few that I have worn like endlessly, constantly, and I love them and they get a ton of use. So I'm really, really happy to say that my handbags do all have a time and a place and they do all for the most part pretty much get used. Um, one example of a bag I have never worn is my Dior, my mini lady Dior. This one has actually never been used since I got it just because the occasion has not come up where I had an outfit that it went with and it's like a going out bag. It's a very specific like evening bag. It's not the type of bag I would wear on a day to day basis. So this one just has not gotten used, but I do absolutely love it. It's a favorite. I have loved this bag since I got it and I will wear it. <laughs> I just have to have the right, the right time to wear it. But yeah, all of my other bags for the most part have gotten lots and lots of use. Um, I'll just quickly tell you one of my favorite, favorite bags, actually, which is one of the most least expensive in my collection, is my little Jacquemus. I'm not sure how you say it. Is it the the new, the nude? I'm not sure how you say it. Um, but I absolutely love this bag, and it goes super well with, with the high heel white Steve Madden sandals. Super cute, one of my favorite looks for summer. And I have used this bag a ton. This was like my bag of the summer this year. So this was such a good investment. I'm so happy to have it. And yeah, so that's about as far as I'm going to go into handbags right now because my voice is starting to crack and I've spent so much time talking about shoes, but I will do a few separate handbag videos. And then we come to my clothing. So aside from everything that was in my dresser, which was pajamas, work clothing, gym clothing, underwear, swimwear, this is all of my other clothes. Again, I do not have clothing away in storage. So I know some people have like a capsule wardrobe or they will do like a summer wardrobe and a winter wardrobe um, and they'll switch out based on seasons. I actually have quite a lot of space in my closet. If I wanted to, I could have clothing from front to back if I really wanted to. But I don't know. I just, I don't think I need that many. I have very specific tastes in clothing and I have certain items that I go back to over and over again and I could expand now that I know like what pieces work for me the best and what dresses flatter me the best stuff like that I could expand a little bit but the truth of the matter is I just don't think everything would get worn if I had wall-to-wall -wall clothing um, because I spend a lot of my time in loungewear I spend a lot of my time in gym wear I just don't need a ton of street clothing if that makes sense so something that you'll notice about my clothing wardrobe is that again it is all fairly neutral and it's mostly light colors so nudes creams blushes um, a little bit of gray here and there beige ivory those are kind of my color palette and then like some softer pastels I'm not going to go through everything piece by piece but for example um, I'm not much of a jeans person I do wear a lot of dresses and skirts so I only have actually three pairs of jeans I have one pair of white high-waisted skinny jeans that are from Zara I think I have one pair of high-waisted wide-legged jeans from Levi's. These are the Levi's rib cage. I've never worn them. <laughs> I'm just not much of a blue jean person. I do really like white jeans and I will wear them on occasion in the summertime. And I also like black jeans, but I'm not much of a blue jean person. They're just very casual. And for me, they don't really fit my aesthetic all the time. I'm much more of a dress and skirt kind of person. 
So jeans do not get worn a whole lot in my life. I have a couple pairs of pants that are more for like the office. Should I have like a work meeting or an office day or an education day or a job interview or something and I need to wear something a little bit more professional. So I have a couple pairs that are a little bit more like for the office, but I don't have an office job. So, but these pants at one time, you guys, these were my most worn pants at one time, like legitimately all through nursing school. Every time we had like a clinic day or anything where I had to wear like office type of clothing, like office casual. I wore these all the time and I love them. And they're from Walmart. You guys like they're so cheap. I just love them. And then I have two pairs of faux leather, um, high-waisted leggings. I really do like that kind of aesthetic, especially for the winter. So I have one pair that's darker, like a butterscotch, one pair that's like a lighter toffee. Um, I have one pair of high-waisted black skinny jeans that I have actually worn a ton. I've gotten a lot of use out of those. And then I have two pairs of jeggings, like black high-waisted jeggings, which I've also gotten a ton of use out of, but not so much over recent years, but they still definitely do come in handy. And then you get into like my actual shirts, sweaters, and dresses. So again, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I have camisoles, bodysuits, a cardigan, couple of different bodysuits because I think that it's good to have a couple of different options when it comes to bodysuits. I have a couple of like dressier, flowier tops. Um, I have a couple of like blouses, long sleeve white t-shirts, which are an essential. I have a cashmere sweater. I have a couple of different jackets, a cardigan. Um, then you have all of my skirts here all hung up, mostly light colors, shorts, high-waisted shorts, love a high-waisted short for the summertime. And then you get into my dresses. Um, so yeah, I've got a ton of dresses here. My favorite dresses are from Aritzia. Um, I'll show you as an example, one of my favorite dresses of all time. So this is one of my favorite dresses of all time. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's called the Viola and it is just a beautiful, like light colored sort of a almost like a lime yellow and then it has these beautiful little lilac flowers on it lilac colored flowers or violets and it's got like a sweetheart neckline little spaghetti strap that style of dress suits my body the best i'll try to put a picture um, up of me wearing this dress but that is like my ideal dress type so i have that dress in two different colors and i just pretty much have like more of the same <laughs> Um, very similar types of dresses. Like I said, once you know what works for you, it makes it so much easier to shop and to choose items for your wardrobe. And then as we get further back, we get more into like my dressy kind of night out dresses. So I've got like a faux leather dress from uh, Bardot. I have a couple of like, this one's kind of out there. It's kind of like a crazy sequined. I haven't worn it, but I thought it might be cute for New Year's if I ever go out on a New Year's. I have one dress from Skims. I haven't worn that one yet because it's very sheer and I don't know where I could wear it. I have a couple dresses from like Zara, Mesh Key, um, just like really pretty like satin kind of things. Feathery, another silk dress there. Um, another satin dress, pleated dress from Sam Edelman. And then in the very, very back, I have cocktail, cocktail dresses. So I have a black, a black velvet kind of sparkly cocktail dress. And I have this other kind of va va boom, like red cocktail dress that I haven't worn yet. So yeah, I don't have that many like going out dresses, but the ones I have, I absolutely love. And I feel like I feel like I don't need to go shopping. Like I feel like in terms of clothing, I have pretty much everything that I need with the exception of I could maybe use another another dress or maybe another like flowy top or something, but I really don't feel like I need to go shopping. In terms of clothing, I feel like I have everything that I need. I love that it all fits on one side of my closet. Um, I try not to have things too cluttered or too crowded. And then when it comes to pants, I don't have very many pants because like I said, I'm just not much of a pants person. I wear pleated skirts a lot in the summer. Midi and like knee length skirts is probably my favorite type of thing to wear in the summer. So I have a lot of skirts, like from here to here is all skirts. So, and then from here to here about is all like summer dresses. So I don't know, I kind of just know what works for me. I know what colors I like. I know what my color palette is and I go with it. So I think you can see why like some of my, some of my handbags, like this little gray one, I think that's why I haven't worn that Lady Dior Mini because it's gray and it really doesn't go with a lot of, a lot of my stuff because it's like cool tones, you know? 
So like it just doesn't go. I mean, you still could wear it. There'd be nothing wrong with it, but I do try to match like tones and palettes and keep everything kind of in the same color family. So yeah, that's kind of my short, but also long winded explanation of my closet. <laughs> I feel like I should put these shoes down here. And actually the fact that these shoes are on this shelf bothers me. Um, I would like them to be here because it's kind of weird to me that I have just this random pair of shoes and I feel like it should be there. So I feel like if I decluttered a pair of shoes from over here, for example, maybe one of these Dolce Vitas, then I could put the Steve Maddens there and it would look a lot more cohesive and proper. Um, it's because these ones were recently sent to me from a company. That's why I don't have room for them. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you were going to declutter any pair of shoes from what I have here, what would you declutter? I'm also a little bit particular about how things look and I don't like that there's that one random pair of shoes <laughs> off to the side. I would rather keep that for perfume or something else. So yeah. And as you guys will notice, I don't have any belts or hats or scarves. Not that I don't like belts or hats or scarves, but I just never seem to wear them. I've had scarves before. I've never worn them. I've had belts. I've never used them. They just don't seem to get used. So I feel like there's no point in having them. So that's really about it. You guys, that is my kind of entire wardrobe at a glance, everything that's in my dresser. Don't mind the tripod, everything that's in my dresser, everything that's in my closet and everything that is on my display shelf. That's literally all the clothing and everything that I have. I wish I could say I was done buying handbags, you guys, but I'm not. I'm always on the hunt for a new handbag. Um, they're just one of my favorite things in the world. I think that they're so cute and they really are a statement piece and make or break your outfit. And I just love them. And I don't know, they just make me happy. <laughs> so handbags, shoes, and perfumes, those are like my my three vices, but these days I would say I even like handbags more than perfumes, which is a shift because for the last two years, I pretty much focused on nothing but growing my perfume collection. And now I'm just like, I've been lately, I've been obsessed with watching like most worn handbag videos and stuff like that. So let me know if you'd like to see a most worn handbag video and least worn, be happy to do that. Some unboxings and stuff like that. I'll definitely be doing more of that on this channel. Let me know if you want me to do like most worn shoes, least worn shoes. If I had to start over, you know, which five would I buy first? That kind of thing. I really enjoy doing those type of videos. Um, and, and yeah, that's really about it for today, you guys. So that was it for today's sort of wardrobe slash closet tour slash little bit of a bedroom tour. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please leave me any comments down below, any requests for other videos that you'd like to see. And I hope to see you all very soon in my next one. Bye for now.